Hello Pisces viewers. I'm going to be looking into what your person is thinking, feeling, wanting, uh, what action they might be taking towards you over the next couple of weeks. Just whatever the cards want to say here. Okay. What is the story? Please be clear, be direct. Got sex and seduction, uh, domination, control, willpower, strength, confidence, anger, miscommunic, anger, miscommunication, adventure, vacation. Okay, tower moment actually, because this fell over right when I was, when I had anger, miscommunication come out. So that was like a tower moment for somebody. Um, maybe somebody's actually recognizing that you guys are miscommunicating, that they weren't. I think someone's becoming more aware when it, when it comes to this connection. Because after this, we have adventure, honeymoon, vacation. So it's like someone kind of recognizing something that they didn't recognize before. And being more open and honest with you. Possibly a message coming through here. We have X in the past. And we have loyalty, stability, and vows. You see that? Is that right? I guess that card wants to fall over. <laughs> Ugh. So I feel like this so this could be past energy this could be they could just be referencing what referencing what you guys went through so that you under so that you know who I'm talking about so that you know who this is that's coming back around um, or it could be something that happened recent but I, I get this feeling here that the situation between you guys either is or was that someone one of you was trying to communicate you know you're trying to be strong trying to to take your power back, trying to be strong, confident, you know, willpower here. And it came off as anger. There was miscommunication there. So either you were trying to basically just set boundaries with your person and, and be assertive, maybe even had to give them an ultimatum. You know, you were just trying to be more confident. You were just trying to be strong. You were trying to just get the treatment that you deserve but it came across as, as anger, it came across as, as hatred, as rejection, um, or it could be vice versa, you know, it could be that your person was trying to tell you something about how they were feeling, um, and they were just trying to be strong and confident, but, but for whatever reason, there was just some kind of miscommunication between you guys, and they thought you were angry, or you thought they were angry, and they actually weren't, they were just trying to, to maybe, um, you know, set some boundaries here. Those boundaries might be related to some, some kind of sexual energy. So I think there's two different stories here. I think for some, they're in a third party situation. And what the sex and seduction and domination control cards are telling you basically is that it's like you were kind of trying to seduce them trying to not in a negative way but you were just trying to be a, a good influence in their life you were trying to kind of get their attention um but they're dominated and controlled by this other energy and maybe there was some kind of miscommunication where you just some kind of boundary was set and someone someone took it as anger whether it was you or then someone felt like there was anger but there's an open and honest communication here. It's possible maybe they were telling you like, hey, I can't get out of this, this situation yet. I have to keep doing this. And there was just, there was some type of miscommunication. But you have some clarity coming in with this situation finally. Um, either you've been feeling the, the drive to reach out and your guys are kind of planning out what to say with you when you, when you reach out to this person or this person is going to come through with a message 
and be open and honest. And then you have adventure, you have honeymoon. Um, what else does do this card say? Adventure, honeymoon, vacation. You know, you have like kind of like this new romantic start with this person once you finally realize, you know, that you guys have been on the same page. You just haven't been communicating correctly. So you, you don't, it, you didn't recognize that you were actually on the same page this whole time. I just get the sense that like somebody set boundaries and the other person was too insecure to recognize that those were just boundaries, that they were just saying, hey, treat me better. They immediately, you know, played the victim and jumped to this energy of anger and miscommunication of, you know, thinking that you were angry, thinking that, you know, oh, like he or she hates me or he or she doesn't want me anymore, you know, instead of understanding the real energy behind it. But, but yeah, you do have some clarity coming in here, so it's good. For some of you, they, they could be, with, with sex, seduction, and domination and control, for some of you, maybe it was, it's, maybe the situation is that they were, if, like, for those of you that are in a relationship, maybe they were kind of using sex to control the situation or control you a little bit, and there was some kind of boundary that was set there on miscommunication, but clarity is coming in. For the majority of you, I feel like this is probably a third-party energy. And, and, you know, remember, this is either your reading or it isn't. If it's not resonating, then it's not your reading. Um, but, but for those of you that it is resonating for, for those, you know, if you are in a third-party situation, I feel like the, the clarity and the message you get might be involving this third party. So there might be something the third party did to dominate and control them that regarding sex and seduction. Like, they used, you know, it could be, like, sexual, like, they just tried to... Um, seduce them you know they try to to use sex over them it could be that this you know this situation with this karmic is is very sexual um i'm also taking it it co could possibly mean children as well like it could be like if they have kids together you know, that could be where the domination and control comes in, because I kind of tie that to, like, sex, you know, like childbirth. Um, you know, maybe this person is just kind of trapped because of a child. They're not able to get out of this third-party situation. And it's like there was just, there's some kind of anger miscommunication. But, but, yeah, I feel some kind of communication coming in for you, too, finally, being open and honest I think they're starting to realize that there there was miscommunication. They're starting to really think about. I think they're overanalyzing something that you said or did. They're looking back on it, and they're thinking, you know, oh, I thought this person was just angry or just hated me or just didn't want me, and now I'm realizing they were just trying to be strong and confident. They were just trying to set boundaries. It wasn't necessarily a negative thing. I shouldn't have been in so insecure and taken it as rejection. And so they're wanting to come forward with this uh, message and be open and honest with you and have this new adventure, this this honeymoon, this new start, possibly run away with you, kind of have like this, like a vacation with you or just some kind of escape. Makes sense if there's a karmic situation that they're stuck in, like they're kind of wanting to get away. Um, I do see once they do that, though, the ex is going to come around making promises trying to drag them back in you know maybe telling them they'll go to counseling trying to just trying to trying to just dig their claws back in and you know have their cake and eat it too so it's it's false promises is what i'm getting here it's not like it's stable but but yeah they're not gonna it's almost pride too like they just don't want to lose to you you know what else can we get here? What else can you show me about this? So let's have some emphasis on um, the Adventure Honeymoon Vacation card. Can you show me that? Can you we put some emphasis on that? Like what happens after that? So you got the ex coming in with this message, but... Like, what is your person most likely to do about that? What is, what's the story here after that? Oh, come on. 
divine intervention synchronicity we got ooh, we have clubs party ooh, sorry clubs party social life overthinking over analyzing self-sabotage isolation loneliness emptiness cold guarded distrusting Manipulation and deception, pride and stubbornness. I'm going to pull, this is a complicated story here, so I'm going to pull a few clarifier cards. I get three clarifier cards. We've got courtesy, polite, thoughtful, good manners, free will, independence, free spirit, and immortal, the consuming family and pressure of peers. Okay. I feel like your person usually is very thoughtful, very polite in this third party situation, though they don't have their free will. And so they're not the thoughtful, polite person they usually are. There could be family pressure. could be possibly, you know, like I said, if they have a kid together, um, it's like your person wants to be the thoughtful, polite, sweet person that they usually are. They want to be caring. They want to be a good man or woman. They want to be the provider but they don't want it with this family that they're in. They're just kind of trapped in this situation. You know what I mean? So it's like this energy, this courteous, thoughtful, polite, just, you know, decent energy is usually natural to them. But in this situation, it's forced. It's like, I think the karmic saw that side of them in the beginning. And then he or she just, you know, abused their trust, just, just used them, degraded them to a point where this energy changed and, and your person didn't want to be thoughtful or polite anymore. Your person is just kind of sick of the situation. But the karmic is still putting pressure on your person to be that person again, even though they don't, it's not natural to them anymore because they're tired of the situation. Um, I do feel like your person is wanting to come forward. You know, they are in their head about it, overthinking, overanalyzing, kind of self-sabotaging. Divine intervention and synchronicity is here, though. And with clubs, parties, and social life, I feel like this could be like a social event, like some kind of public gathering um, or, or running into each other in public. There's just some type of divine intervention where they're trying to figure out a way to bring you two back together to get you guys to see each other in some kind of public place um, so that you could talk, so that you could you could have this open honest communication because i think right now either you think they're mad or they think you're mad or there's just some type of distance some type of miscommunication here where you know someone's intentions and emotions are being um misperceived as anger um and so your guys are kind of wanting to get you guys back back around each other somehow they want to get you back into um it's, it'd be, it could be a club or a party where you guys used to hang out, like where you guys know each other from or where you've been to before. But I just get like some kind of social event. So it could be, you know, like I said, it could be a party, but it could be meeting them like at the grocery store. It could be like just bumping into them publicly somewhere um, or, or urging them to come and publicly find you somewhere and bump into you and talk to you in person, like kind of stressing that importance that, hey, you guys need to talk in person. You need to figure this out in person. You know, so there is divine intervention here where it's like, because I think if you communicate in person, you can read their body language and they can read your body language as well. And so you guys are going to understand that like, oh, like we misunderstood each other. We actually are on the same page. We actually do want each other. We do both have this love here. Um I think the ex, though, has made them kind of cold and guarded and distrusting, but they're realizing that this isolation and this loneliness and emptiness they feel is because of the karmic and not because of you. They can't project that onto you and blame you just for speaking your truth or for wanting more of a commitment from them 
I think they're starting to shift their perspective and stop playing the victim so much. And they're starting to really recognize that, like, it's actually the karmic that did this to them. It's the karmic that made them feel isolated and empty and alone. They can't blame you for your energy if they've been mistreating you. You know what I mean? And they're recognizing that the karmic is, is manipulative and, and deceptive. And, you know, there's this pride, stubbornness between them where it's like they're kind of, he's kind of just, he or she is kind of just wanting to get out of that situation. So just any quick messages here about this, like what's, what happens next here? What happens? So what's going to happen between you two? We don't need to look at the karmic. What's going to happen? What's most likely to happen between you two over the next couple of weeks? Mental instability, truth, clarity, spying, potential life partner, true love, and taking it slowly, pulling them in and getting to know each other. So I think your person has um, probably anxiety, depression, maybe other mental disorders too that are connected to the karmic. And I do feel like I do feel some communication finally coming in. Um, I think they're just wanting to be more honest with you about what they're struggling with, you know, what um, what life experiences they've had, just what's going on mentally with them. They're they're wanting to give you some truth and clarity. They're wanting to get on the same page with you, and I think you guys are on the same page. You just miscommunicated, and the divine is trying to get you guys to, you know, somehow see each other publicly so that you can read each other's body language and, um, and, and go from there. You know what I mean? Cause I think that would clear things up when it comes to communication. It's hard to communicate through text or phone calls. So, so publicly talking, I think would really help you guys. I think they are spying and they're going to be spying, spying. Um, they're wanting to come in with this truth and clarity, but they're like, they're just not sure. They're trying to figure out how to go, go about it, basically. Um, I think one or both of you wants to take things slow, though, and kind of just get to know each other when this comes in. You know, just stand in your power and let this happen naturally. But it is saying that, you know, this is a potential life partner. But I do want to say in third-party situations, you know, he or she needs to be making effort towards you and actually consciously showing you they're making an effort to get out of that connection otherwise it's just not worth it you know you can go in circles again and again in third party situations so you know talk is cheap make sure that I mean just just try to get to the bottom of this with them you know try to have some open honest communication and, and figure out where you stand where they stand um, and I think yeah clarity and truth is coming in for both of you guys so I hope this helps if it resonates, please go ahead and, and like, uh, subscribe, share this video out. Thank you. Oh, also, I do private readings if you're interested. My email is below.